What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're focusing on the big, huge uh, New Jersey Devils and Anaheim Ducks trade. As Adam Henrique is taking his town to Orange County, along with Joe Blandizi and a third-round pick, and uh, Sammy Vatnin and a conditional draft pick going back to New Jersey. So apparently, you know, judging from Twitter, Devils fans don't like this trade. And to be totally honest with you, I really don't get it because Henrique has become expendable. You know, obviously had some great moments with the Devils. You know, I'm sure that you know every fan remembers that you know big goal he had in Game Six against the Rangers. You know, in 2012. Um, but you look at you know the productivity they get out of Nico share as a rookie. You know, you look at what they're getting. I think Pavel Zaka still has another level to go to um, as a, as a 20 year old. And you know, quite frankly, Henrik having a good year, obviously, but you know the. the to address, you know, the defensive unit and get some more mobility back there. And actually, New Jersey's defense is pretty good. Um, underrated, I should say. I'm not going to, you know, it's not, you know, Tampa or, uh, you know, whoever. But at the same time, you know, look at the success Will Butcher's had as a rookie. Um, you know, I think Damon Severson's really shown flashes at times. And, you know, John Moore, I mean, is there a better player in 3 on 3 overtime in the NHL right now than, than John Moore? It's probably a question um, that should be answered. But, you know, you add that into that mix, you know, he's a righty shot, you know, really gives you something good back there. And, I, I again, I just like his fit with this team. And likewise for Adam Henrique, I mean, the Ducks, here was what the Ducks had down the middle last night against the St. Louis Blues, and they somehow um, pulled out the win in St. Louis. Grant, Wagner, Vermette, Kosala. Those are your four centers last night. Getzlaff's obviously hurt. You know, a lot of other guys, are, obviously Kessler hasn't played a game this season. You know, they are banged up down the middle and in need of some reinforcements up front or, or else, you know, run the risk of putting themselves in a very, very, very bad situation in the Western Conference. Um, so, you know, you can kind of slide Henrique in there until you get the, you know, your two big 2003 draft uh, centers back in, in Getzlaff and in Kessler and, uh, you know, go from there. I mean, I, I look at it. If Henry gets a look with Corey Perry to start, that'd, that'd be a really good, you know, that Richie and Perry with uh, Henry down the middle would be a nice little first line until things can settle down in Anaheim. And, you know, that is obviously a really good defenseman. You know, they, they part of the reason they gave up Shea Theodore um, in that deal with Vegas, you know, out of the expansion draft because they didn't want to lose him. But, you know, you got to give up something to get something. You look at what Josh Manson's done um, in terms of his development, and, you know, he kind of became an expendable asset. And, uh, you know, they address an area of need. I think I think in both cases, Vatanen became expendable in Anaheim and Henry became expendable in New Jersey. Both teams addressed areas of need. I think it's a pretty straightforward, just a good all-around hockey trade for both teams. And I think Blandese actually would be a nice fit on that Ducks fourth line if given the opportunity. Um, you know, and the yeah, add third-round pick, I mean, it's you know, pretty... Uh, Pretty solid little uh, get for the, uh, the Ducks. So, anyway, that's all I got this episode of the Power Play with CJ. Stay tuned for episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.